we finished our egg fast diet and we weighed in today. Did we go up? Did we go down? Did we stay the same? Come on everybody and I'll share. Hey everyone, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Yes indeed. Hey you guys, we finished our three day sardine fast followed by a three day egg fast. Want to talk a little bit about how we did and if we would change anything, which I think we will for the next time because there will be another time. Matter of fact, I think we're going to do another egg fast in July after this three day keto chow fast that we are doing. Yes, we are. I've got my keto chow all lined up. Yes, I do. Got the new vanilla cream and the new strawberry cream. Vanilla cream is Harry's third favorite now. Three top. Third top favorite. Yes, it is. It's his third top. It's, it's chocolate peanut butter, right, that's one. chocolate toffee, right, and now two. vanilla cream. Yep, three. Is it his three? Yes, yes indeed. Now we grabbed a vanilla cream and a strawberry cream for me and we headed out the door early this morning because Harry had to have his decompression, his EMS treatment and his uh, chiropractic adjustment. So we drove through Starbucks. Thank you, Cindy, for the Starbucks uh, gift certificate because we used it. Yes, we did. Let me get mine. Because it's heck of hot out there today, you guys. And uh, we needed one. We needed coffee. I needed coffee. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about the egg fast diet before we go into what our way is, weight is. Harry wanted to weigh in after the egg fast diet because we weighed in after the sardine fast. Now, we used cheese with this egg fast diet, a lot of cow's milk cheese with this instead of just the goat's cheese. Yesterday was a super cheese heavy day for Harry and I. And if you saw our sensitivity check video, I'm going to have Harry link that to the end, the results, because it shows that he's allergic more, not allergic, pardon me, this is not an allergy test. This is a sensitivity test. If you have heart allergies, that's going to show up on an allergy test, not on a sensitivity sensitivity test according to the way they do their testing. He is more sensitive to dairy and it's because he is missing some enzymes that his pancreas produces in order to break down fats and proteins. So I bought him those uh, pro electotic pro protelolic enzymes. Anyway, these are what he shows as he is missing in his diet and somebody says you probably re should refrigerate let me see if this says I need to refrigerate doesn't say but I'm going to I also ordered some other digestive support for him um, just to make sure that we are doing it correctly I'm going to put these in here. I'll put these here. We always ask for the heavy cream on the side, you guys, so that you can put the amount of cream you need in your drinks. Because even if you say light heavy cream, they overdose yeah. it on the cream. And you can just put literally a teaspoon in and get the color you want and the amount of cream you want for your uh, drinks at Starbucks. That was a treat for us today. Anyway, um... We had mozzarella cheese yesterday and cream cheese yesterday, and we weighed in this morning. And remember, everything you eat the day before, sometimes two days prior, can have a direct effect on your weight. Well, it did. And not in a good way. No, it did not. Because <laughs> I went up two and six tenths to 188.4. And Harry went up four tenths. Harry did not go up as much as I did. Now, another thing about me is I have not gone to the bathroom, number two, for over a week. So I, I am overdue for that, and that can cause some weight loss. Yes, it can. I don't know about you, but it does me. Yes, it does. But here's the thing. We are doing keto chow for three days. Today is our first day, and we're going to end on... 
they fast today's the 28th 29th 30th at the end of the month will be done in july after the fourth and after we get back from harry sometime we're going to do another egg fast and we're going to do another sardine fast what i would like to do is the egg fast first and then the sardine fast second when we do the egg fast this time i'm going to look for more different kinds of goat cheese and take out the cow completely because when we were eating a lot of dairy before, I did not lose weight, I gained weight. So I'm thinking that even though it doesn't show up as being sensitive to it, I think I hold on to whatever the cow's milk has in it well, yeah, and that. causes me because I just feel with Harry, he had a stomach ache until I gave him his uh, enzymes. And then that stomach ache went away, didn't it? Or did it stay yeah, with you? Yeah, no, it went away. It went away. Like so, within 15 minutes. Okay, perfect, perfect. So that's what we are gonna do. So you guys, we'll let you know ahead of time that we're gonna start the egg fast the next day so you guys can join along with us because there are so many. Oh my gosh, I know Keto Connect was one of the first ones after the other person who started the egg fast diet um, came up with a lot of recipes and I think they invented the egg loaf and the crepes I know uh, Erica from time to shrink thank you everybody everybody was saying keto ninja that's Amanda those are two so many people have left YouTube that we used to watch that were keto or ketogenic or carnivore. We used to watch Keto Mama. We used to watch Amanda, you know, Keto Ninja. We used to watch uh, Time to Shrink. There's like five or six I can name. Um, Daniela Diary, she's changed her whole regime. She's no longer keto or carnivore. You know, um, who else? Well, it takes There's a lot so of time many people. To well, do this. Di Daniela Diary still has her channel, but she's doing something totally different and she's working out. So she's doing something totally different. But so many people, uh, Butter Bob, you know, yeah. Butter makes your fans plant. Fan, pants fall off butter bob he's no longer filming i know that he had a really hard issue when his wife um left this earth uh yes he did erica time to shrink um like i said um keto mama so many people um we used to watch Erin does the keto she's all over the place now i don't i don't know if she's she went off on it a whole and then she went to Weight Watchers then I don't know what she's doing I haven't seen her forever but quit watching that someone else that we watch now has another show and she's not doing keto or carnivore anymore either so so many people have left and have gained weight too so that's another thing I think that the virus did a lot to our whole community really I think that there were some hard things that happened during that time within the family and within their own health that caused issues too and being at home locked away is not healthy so um, yeah it's really interesting on those uh, people that we used to watch and they're not there anymore it's like everything has narrowed down a little bit and people have changed their their ways so anyway you guys we have tickets to the matinee to go see asteroid city yeah asteroid city and who's the uh, director that you like or Wes the Anderson Wes Anderson you gotta like his kind of film it's right? Tom Hanks A highly stay at stylized picture they are very stylized and Harry likes this uh, person that did this but it looks quite interesting it's gonna be very artsy it's done in a whole different way so we're gonna go see that and enjoy that because we love him as a director plus we like a UFO sci-fi kind of a deal which we're not sure how that's going to go but we're going there and we get a 30 percent discount on the matinee yes we do and we're seniors whoop, whoop. so at least we get a little bit off of the uh, price of the ticket and we're going to be in air conditioning and we're going to be in a recliner seat because we go to the did AMC you get the right, right I hope I did I hope I did but if I didn't I'm sorry it's whatever theater it's playing in and it's in one theater so Depends on if we get those seats or not, but the seats are good anyway. So, so you plan on uh, if we when we do the egg fast again, you're going to do it for five days. Yes, Harry and I talked about it, and we want to do a sardine fast for three days um, because I don't think I can do longer than three days. 
and I am going to, and you guys, do it with salmon instead or tuna or tuna and salmon instead of sardines, but do it with us. Do it with us because it's very healthy for you. You get a lot of omega-3s. You get a lot of benefits with that. Then we're going to do an egg fast for five days. And um, we're going to change over to goat's cheese. I have the soft goat's cheese. I want to get some hard goat's cheese. Whole Foods carries it. So I want to go there and get some. You can even get goat butter at Walmart. I didn't know that, but Paula had some. Last time we ate out with them, she had a stick of goat butter. So be on the lookout for it. If you have issues with dairy, with cow's milk and butter, look for the goat butter. I'm serious. And Paula, and when you watch this, leave me a comment below on the name of that goat butter that you had because I can't remember the name of it. But I was pleasantly surprised and it was delicious because she shared. She shared we always take igloos with little things in it like something to drink some butter on the side you know because restaurants don't really carry butter if they do it's the unsalted for the buns only and it's usually a higher end restaurant they don't even they look at you weird when you say can i have some real butter and they say well here's the whipped butter and it's like no that's not real butter and they look at you weird so anyway you guys we're going to have another one of our drinks right now so that um, we can, this time, Harry, you get strawberry and I get vanilla because Harry thinks he Can gets I have a full one? No. I get some of yours anyways. No, you do not. Yeah, because you drank part of mine. You get the strawberry cream. I get the vanilla cream. No, because the strawberry I had, you had some of two in our taste test. Very small amount. He, is, he loves this. And he does not get any of mine. I'm he, not, not going to ask you I'm for any of yours. Person. I'm not going to ask you for any of yours. Well, that's too bad you're having it. There you go. There you have it. <laughs> I am not being mean to Harry. This is not fair. You kept trying to, st you kept trying to drink this on our taste test. You wanted it afterwards. You were just being naughty, Marty. You're being naughty, and this one's mine, and this one is the vanilla cream. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have some right now because. Look at this. Lick the top. Yes, I am. Watch, Harry. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. To me, it tastes more like a sugar cookie. It does to me. Regular vanilla is regular vanilla. It's just regular vanilla, mm -hmm. and it's good. Oh, yeah. And I use it for all base. kinds of things. This will make a delicious chocolate and delicious ice cream. Oh, speaking of ice cream. Thank you for the two viewers who said get the RX syrup on Amazon because it's three ingredients. It's super healthy. They had chocolate RX syrup. Too. And guess what I ordered, Harry, for our ice did cream? Did you really? Yes, I did. Oh, I ordered cool. a bottle of it. And guess when it's going to be here? When? Tomorrow. Oh, fabulous. Tomorrow. Yes, it's going to be here tomorrow. So we will be able to taste so test you a little make, bit of chocolate make, syrup. Do you have any more of that? Well, I have... I have one more. And this. Maybe we should hold those two aside for ice cream. You want to do that? Maybe. What okay. do you think? I will. I'll do that. We will both have, I'll, uh, have we'll both have, uh, I'll have strawberry, strawberry and you today. have strawberry. Okay. I've got this. I'm I'm taking one for the team. The one he, he drank out of yesterday. So well, you can drink some of mine. You get this one. This is the regular vanilla. And you I'm having some strawberry of mine. cream. You need some of mine because I care. Okay, thank you, dear, and for sharing. I don't sharing. want you to feel left out. Thank you, or, dear, you for know, sharing. Or, so tomorrow we're gonna make three-minute ice cream with the vanilla cream, and we're gonna top it with a little chocolate RX oh, cool. syrup sauce. Yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> and this is a, this is a diet. I'm loving it yeah, because yeah. it's a hundred and hecka hot here. You guys, yes, it's a dry heat. It's like walking right into a nice dry hot oven when you yep, open the door exactly. and walk outside. I mean, seriously, that's what it feels like. And if we have a monsoon, then it is sticky, hot, and muggy until the mugginess burns off because it does burn off within like an hour or two yeah. afterwards. And that's the only time we get any mugginess you can hear or it. humidity. You can hear it drying. You can. You can it, look at the granite. It's, it's weird. It's a, yeah, you hear it like... 
Especially if it gets like on old, you know, like wood. If it gets on wood, yes. the wood sizzles. Everything se it's steams. It's weird, man. Everything steams. Yeah. The leaves steam, the ground steams, everything steams. And then the steam evaporates and it goes back to dry heat again. Yes, indeed it does. That's, we're going to the movies and we're gonna be in the air conditioning. So you guys. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh yeah, we do. It's 1240. We gotta drink these. We'll drink them in the car, take them along with us. That's the good news, you guys. We get to take them along with us. And we'll let you know our honest opinion of Asteroid City when we come back, you guys. So we'll see you in the next segment. Hey everyone, Harry and I are back from the movies. Uh -huh. Yes, indeed we are. So, <laughs> ask me how I liked the movie. What Where movie, Wendy? Where do Asteroid City? Where do I begin? Oh my Let God. Let me just say, it was the worst movie I have ever seen in my life besides Eraserhead. <laughs> Black and white movies back in the 80s. This was the worst movie ever. Ever. I don't and know what, it gets, what's going on. I can't believe the money on the actors and actresses they spent on this. So let me let me preface this. It was a movie about a low budget um, um, play acting company that was doing a play about Asteroid City, and they did it on stage. And it was basically about what is the meaning of life for every single person. And it was the most monotone, boring, non-climatic, super long movie I fell asleep in. Yes, she yes, did. Yes, I did. That's how much you liked it. It was, the, you know what I liked? There was one bright light and I think we, in I the think, whole movie. And I want to tell you what I did. You guys yes, are going to yes, crack yes. up what I did. Oh my God. This was pure windy though. The only part I liked was at the end, at the very end of the movie, there is a road runner in the movie. And it's, it's either a puppet or animation. Oh, it's, no, it's a puppet. It was very good. And that was the only part of it. So what does Wendy do? <laughs> Wendy gets up, the lights come on. I turn around to the entire audience, which were four other people. <laughs> and I said, so, besides the Roadrunner, how many liked the movie? And they started cracking up. Everybody said, no, the Roadrunner was the best, best part of part. the whole yeah. movie. You guys, it is so bad. And if it gets nominated for anything i am just done with hollywood because it is so bad well, I've been going i mean hollywood the actors and actresses now. the money they spent on the people that did this movie i am amazed at i am amazed so Woody, tell us what the what do you believe the movie was about i believe the movie was a bunch of has-beens <laughs> that it was supposed to be their meaning of their life. What is the meaning, what is the circumference of the meaning of their life? And everybody had a sad life. And this was so monotone. This director had everybody so monotone. And no one had a life. And, and even the actors and actresses acting in the movie had no life. It was just... It was very depressing. It was really very poor. You let me know if you went to see Asteroid City, if you understood the movie, and if you liked the movie. Please leave me a comment. I'm just saying, do not spend your money. Do not go see that. If you see it, fast forward the thing till the very end and watch the Roadrunner because the Roadrunner is the only, only cute yeah. thing dancing across the street to the music yeah. as it's going. Yes, indeed. After the train goes by, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the whole thing was just what just happened. Well, it's really upsetting. We're sitting to me, there going, man. we're waiting. Yeah. And you're waiting. You're waiting for something, something. to happen. You. Uh, yeah. No. 
No, no movie no, no, moments, no. and you need to have at least five movie moments in a movie. You know, like this explosion. director has gone so far downhill. Oh, I can't even I tell can't you. I can't believe it. I loved. What was the Budapest? Budapest Hotel. The Budapest Hotel was so great cute. Movie. It was great lively. Movie. And the one with Bill Murray. Where he, the one with Bill Murray, where he's like, he was like Jacques Cousteau. What the hell? Was yes, it? yes. Where he went to find that elusive whale yes. fish thing. Oh yeah, that, that was, was so a, cute. So good. But this was just. Oh. It was like one of the lower class um, acting schools off of Hollywood in LA where the school had to come together and, and write a play and they all got a part in it. That's what it seemed like, yeah. That's what it was like. Yeah, it was like, oh my God, what, what, how much money they spend this thing? And It was, just uh, was, it just was that not. I mean, my movies are better than his movie. That that's, movie. Oh, our movies should have won an Academy Award compared to these, oh I'm telling God. you. God. Anyway, you guys, we are done for the night. We are going to grab a keto chow. What, what, what did you just, what, Sally's right, going yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Do you got an ant on you? Don't bring the ants in the house, yeah, honey. Yeah. Don't bring the ants in the house. We're going to go ahead and close this out because we did do two movies yesterday and Harry needs to just, we just want to rest and relax and unwind the, two episodes yesterday. the movie. Oh my gosh. It was like a three act because they were acts when he was on going, a stage. Oh my God, we still got uh, we're two. We're act two. I can't what time is it? Let's get out it of here. It was like an hour and a half for one act in this play that they're doing. <coughs> oh. Anyway, you guys, don't go see the movie. Don't spend the money. Don't, don't, don't. And if you have, let me know what you think of it. Let me know your perspective on it. What did you think the story of the movie was about? Anyway, you guys, Sally, just wait, Sally. Sally. Come here. Come here. Yes, you can. You can come here. No, you got to come and see me. Oh, no, don't talk to me like that. You're being silly. Yeah, You bark, you bark, you bark. Yeah. Yeah, you bark. You're being bark. silly. I can't bark yeah. it so much today, huh? Hey, you guys. Because we left her home alone. I know. Here, 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 here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that little bell. Give us a thumbs up and she wants to say goodnight. Say goodnight. <laughs> anyway, you guys, we'll see you tomorrow, Sally. Yes, 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 I hear you, I hear you. I hear you. How about some beef and liver sliders? You just got fed. Just can't believe you. Did you even eat? Come back to me. Quick, 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 before she gets back. It's day two of the Keto Chow three-day fast tomorrow, you guys. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, it's Keto Chow fast time. Yes, indeed. Oh, you were fast. She's Did back. you just inhale it? <laughs>